Hi guys, Dai here. As you can see here, we have a new contraption. This was made in 1.13.2 and it is a automated vending machine, fully automated. So as you can see, we've got buttons, an item deposit area and a collection area. So if we look at the items, there's a redstone block and you can get two of them. So we'll push the button, the light tells us that two of them have came out. We can then go to the payment section thrown in the ingot and two have appeared if we don't have an ingot and we pick an item so we pick two of these wooden stairs and we go to deposit something that's not an, a, an iron ingot it will not give us the item so let's take a look at how this is made so we'll have a quick fly around and I'll show you the modules all broken up it comes into three modules the area selection like the item selection, the payment deposit, and the item retrieval. So the first module, the item picker, it is a double pulse that will give two items out of a dispenser. And we have a lantern on top, or a lamp on top, to display that two of them have came out. So we have a repeater going into observer, into another repeater, and there's a hopper underneath because there's a chain of hoppers which then collect all the items that shoot out into the far end. So if we push the button. Now we need to have a delay on this back one because it will flick so fast that the torch, like this torch, will not turn off and no signal will go through. You need to remember to have a delay on this repeater otherwise the signal will not go to the torch and dispense the items so this has been set back by two and it works just fine the one times item dispenser instead of using this observer it just uses a regular block to carry the signal through and dispense the item I didn't even put anything in there, what well on me the next part is the item retrieval now this has two functions, one to confirm that the item is true and two to separate the the, tr the ingots from the trash. So if we go and grab an ingot and we throw it in top, it should be filtered out into this chest. Whereas if we have any other item, instead of going to this chest, it will go to this one. And that is the circuit for that. The next thing we have is the item dispenser. So at the end here we have these two chests and the three hoppers that I've mimicked here. And we have a comparator coming out of this hopper to detect when the ingot goes through. If the ingot has gone through, the signal will get sent to this double pulse a redstone signal. A and the dropper will dispense twice. If there's only one item in there, the dispense, the dropper will still shoot up twice, but there'll be nothing else in there, so only one lot will come out. So finally, we put this all together. So we have the line of hoppers here. Now this looks like a mess, but the hopper line goes here, around the item sorter and it goes straight to the dropper and then the item and then the ingot receiver is here goes straight into the double pulse and to the dropper if an item goes into the other chest we, we still have it, it does not get sent back to the player but it will not give them anything in return finally we just add a bit of decoration around the outside and I think it looks pretty good so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!